Sometimes the most sinister monsters linger within the people we trust the most. And a good predator always knows how to use this trust as a deadly weapon. This week we discuss the legendary snuff film director, Anatoly Slivka. Let's open the serial killer file. Anatoly was, at one point, a pretty standard man. He ran a children's club of young pioneers, the Soviet equivalent to Boy Scouts. He didn't have a true taste for death at this time, but this soon changed. At the age of 23, Anatoly was a witness to a horrible car accident. One of the young pioneer boys was involved in the crash and was horrifically killed at the scene. Anatoly didn't feel the shock and horror a normal person might have. Instead, something clicked in his mind. Like the first taste of a delicious entree, his nose drew in the smell of smoke, the sound of fire, the sound of screaming and calls for help, he found himself sexually excited. From that point forward, Anatoly was an entirely different man. He used his position within the young pioneers to replicate that lustful feeling he experienced watching the first boy die in the street. Once or twice a year, he would make extra special friends with some of the boys, usually aged between 13 and 17, a similar age to the boy who died in the accident. He'd tell his new best buddies that he had a special exercise to stretch the spine. It involved a controlled hanging. The boys would be brought into unconsciousness at the end of a noose, but he assured them that they would be revived. Surprisingly enough, over the course of 21 years, Anatoly was able to convince over 40 boys to take part in these exercises. About three years after the car accident that had started it all, Anatoly committed his first murder against a homeless 15-year-old boy. He claimed that the murder was unintentional and after being unable to revive the boy, he just dismembered him and buried the remains. Anatoly was also well known for his filmmaking skills. He was good with a camera, to say the least, so he'd often set one up to capture the spine-stretching exercises. He'd set the boy up in a noose, standing atop a chair, and would assist the boy in hanging himself. He'd remove the chair and at times rush back behind the camera to film as the boy would lose consciousness. After this time, he'd take the boy's body down and fondle and caress it. He'd arrange the body in a number of different positions and masturbate profusely. He would then revive the boys who were understandably upset about the exercise and would threaten them into silence. But not every boy could be revived and when that happened, the real fun began. Anatoly would use his finest cinematography skills to capture each limb he would dismember. He could be seen in these videos nonchalantly severing legs and pulling them from the pants. He enjoyed saving the shoes as a small souvenir, sometimes cutting the feet in half while they were still inside the shoes. After dismembering the bodies, pleasuring himself to the sight of it, and taking all that he had wanted from their remains, he would then take out the gasoline. Pouring it over the limbs, head and torso, he would ignite them, taking in the sight and the smell to bring him back to that wonderful day of the car accident. The smoke from the sizzling flesh and crackling meat would send him into a state of surreal bliss. Eventually, after those 21 long years, one boy's disappearance would eventually lead police to Anatoly. And when other boys in Anatoly's group had claimed to experience temporary amnesia when Anatoly conducted experiments on them, police made their arrest. Anatoly was executed after three years on death row by a gunshot to the head. Some of his videos are still viewable through a simple Google search. I'll leave that to you. This episode was in collaboration with a channel called This Exists. 
and they've made a video all about snuff films and they're going to tell you everything you've ever wanted to know and perhaps some things you didn't necessarily want to know. They are personally one of my favorite channels and they are good friends of mine, so I would appreciate if you would go and check out their episode by clicking here, or you can go down in the description below and there is a link down there for you. Trust me, you won't regret it. That's all for now. Make sure to keep an eye out for the next serial killer file because much like the killers themselves, you just never know when one might pop up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you won't want to miss who's next. Case closed. <laughs>